You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts of fine and sweet. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts the finest we Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Today we celebrate the feast of the chair of St. Peter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us pause to call to mind our sins and to ask God's forgiveness and grace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who had a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not the, by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord over it those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be God. God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the
the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> well, we have celebrated other feast days that include St. Peter and even his, the mother church of, of uh, all of the Roman Catholic Church where we celebrate where Peter had his chair. And today we celebrate the chair of Peter. But this one has a specific goal and it was established in the earliest centuries to celebrate the unity of the church, that everything was united under Peter and his confession and therefore under his successor so that the church always had someone who was in the authority to bind or to loose, to teach and to witness to the unity of the church. So today we celebrate the unity of a church that is so diverse in every continent, in most every nation, and in every language there is on earth, we profess the same faith, and yet we are one, we are united, in our faith, in our profession, in our apostolic witness. So we ask the Lord to help us always to work for the unity of the church and to do all that we can to make sure that any divisions that arise are healed and that we are part of the peacemakers who always maintain the unity of the church. Let us stand to pray. As servants, let us approach the Lord with patience, humbly presenting our needs and intentions. For Francis, our Pope, who now occupies the chair of Peter, may God continue to bless him and sanctify him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For government and civic officials, may the Lord inspire all to greater servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the homeless and all who lack stable housing in the cold winter months, especially for the young men who live here in Claymont, may God provide them safe shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For we who worship and share community here, may the Holy Spirit continue to enkindle in us the fire of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, may he soon bring them to everlasting life with all the angels and saints, most especially for David Deal, being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? For my husband John, we celebrated his birthday today. Pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For peace to come to Ukraine, to Gaza, Israel, the world, our own cities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For my nephew, for healing, he was operated on yesterday, Andrew. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the women I see panhandling on the street, pray for the safety of these women. 
Gracious and loving God, hear us and answer these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all souls of church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially David, remembered this day. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with St. Peter and all the apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we also be and all the apostles and all the saints, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Before I dismiss everybody, I promised I would continue announcing that uh, beginning next week, there is no daily Masses from Monday through Friday. There is a daily Mass on Saturday morning. Father Van won't be able to do that, um, but because there's nobody uh, to do the other Masses, there won't be any uh, on the weekday, other weekdays during the week, um, for a couple weeks, perhaps three. For now, we're going for two, but it might be three. Um, so, and the uh, the Capuchins know that you may be some of you may be coming there, but they cannot take any of our intentions. They already have their intentions full, so all of the intentions will be celebrated by Father Van at the VA if they're not uh, masses being celebrated here, um, unless somebody decides that they wanna postpone their mass so they could be there to another date, which can be done reasonably within the next month or two. All right. What about Sunday? Oh, well, there's always masses on Saturday and Sunday, Father mm -hmm. Van. Okay. Yeah, no. just, the week, just the weekday masses. And then what about stations on Friday? There'll be stations. They'll be led by by someone, not someone. not me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, Father. Do you know if uh, Saint uh, uh, Saint Helena's is offering daily mass? Oh, sure. They have several. They have three, I think. Okay. No, it's Father. It's nine o'clock. It was in the bulletin. There's no seven. Just so only nine. Mm -hmm. 
nine. But the, uh, the, the monastery has eight o'clock, just like us. Mm -hmm. And the other churches have different times. So if you want to go at a different time, you can. I will um, publish them on the front door of the church for anybody who comes who doesn't know what's going on. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. We'll sing the second verse of our hymn. Okay. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Have a good day, all. Yeah, you too.